Hell! Mmm! Sour! Father's Day is coming up, and you know, I lost my father about 10 years ago. But I've got a lot of good memories and some great stories he told. Like when he grew up on the farm, a hard life, up at the crack of dawn and to do chores before going to school. Home at lunchtime to do more chores and then back to school. Chores when he got home until the sun went down. He even worked several other farms in the area uh, to make some extra cash. I couldn't imagine that kind of life. Now the Second World War was going on at the time, so he decided to join the army. Anything to get off the farm and away from all those chores. <laughs> the only problem was to enlist, he had to travel a very long way. I mean, how am I going to get there, he thought. Hmm. Now my father was mechanically inclined and quite a resourceful, talented man. At 15 years old, he built his own car. Yep, no word of a lie. He built his own car out of spare parts he got from different kinds of vehicles. With no license or insurance, he drove to the recruiting office where they asked him, How old are you, son? <laughs> now, now, being an honest guy, he said, I'm 15. You're too young, they said. Back to the farm with you. So he drove back home and never did join the forces. You know, that car ran so well that his dad took it to use because it ran better than the family car. <laughs> Speaking of cars, I thought we'd cover the sidecar today because, well, it's a classic sour cocktail and I think all you dads out there are gonna love it. <laughs> and who doesn't like a little bit of sour in their life from time to time? Hell! Mmm! Sour! The most famous story about the origin of the sidecar is that it was created shortly after World War I in Paris at Harry McKellen's place, Harry's New York Bar. Supposedly, an American army captain rode up to Harry's joint in his motorcycle sidecar, got out, walked in, and invented the drink. <laughs> and I guess he named it after his motorcycle sidecar, so it's believed. Sounds a little far-fetched to me, but it's a good story anyway. Another claim to the sidecar's invention is Frank Meyer, who worked at the Paris Ritz Hotel. But of course, it was later disputed by another bartender who worked at the Ritz after Meyer. The next story, well, it moves to Buck's Club in London. In his 1922 book, Harry's ABC of Mixing Cocktails, Harry McKellen credits the drink to uh, Pat McGarry, who was one of the great bartenders of the day, and, and it's said that he first introduced the sidecar there. Hm. Another thought is that the sidecar was invented in New Orleans in the 19th century, and Dale DeGroff, aka King Cocktail, believes that the sidecar is a term that bartenders use for the leftover liquor they pour into shot glasses, which is more likely where the cocktail got its name. Although I'm not sure why you'd have any leftover liquor, <laughs> I guess if you misjudge your poor, you might. But then again, uh, you don't want anybody seeing that, do you? <laughs> Just like slide down there and... Okay, nobody saw that. What I do know as truth is that sours were really popular during the golden age of cocktails in the early 1900s. They were a simple mix of spirit, sour, uh, primarily lemon, and a touch of sweetness. You know, I like the sidecar because it's a short drink that packs a hell of a punch. And if it's too strong, you can dial back the booze. If it's too sweet, just add some more citrus. Uh, too sour for you? Huh, just add more sweetness. It's a very adjustable drink. Okay, let's motor on here and uh, get into a sidecar. Mm -hmm. You know, there's lots of different uh, ways to do a sidecar, especially the, the glass. Uh, sometimes you'll see it in a martini glass. I'm just using a little coupe. Sometimes, too, you'll find uh, the, the lip of the glass coated in sugar. Um, this is maybe just to counteract the, the sourness of this drink. So another way, too, is to drop it right into the freezer. So you've got a 
chill glass if you didn't want any sugar. But I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just scour half in sugar. So then you got a choice. Yeah, you got a little choice there. You like it sour, you like a little sweeter. And we're just gonna set this off to the side and let that sugar adhere to the side of the glass. Got my shaker glass here, and I got a new bottle of cognac, a Maison Gautier VS. What's a VS? The labeling system for cognac is, is very special, or superior, VS, uh, aged for at least two years. Uh, very special, superior, old pale, VSOP, aged for at least four years. And extra old, XO, uh, aged for at least six years or more. Some great brands to try are Courvoisier, Hennessy, and Remy Martin. These are all great for sipping. In a sidecar, try to avoid using cheap brandy because it's gonna make your cocktail taste cheap. <laughs> you wanna use a VS or a VSOP. It'll just make your drink taste great. Bottom line, everyone has different palates when it comes to what tastes good. The best brandy is the brandy you like best. Ounce and a half, cognac. Since 1755, Maison Gautier has offered aromas of candied fruit, toffee, vanilla, and wood spice in this elegant, artisanal VS Cognac. The palate is full and warming with flavors of chocolate and orange, vanilla, and lively Christmas cake spices, followed by a long and balanced finish. Let me tell you, this young Cognac offers a lot of finesse on the palate. I think it'll be perfect in our cocktail. Three quarter ounce of Cointreau. Now you could put uh, triple sec into this or any orange liqueur, uh, but I don't know, I really like Cointreau. It's a far superior product than triple sec. Okay, next thing we want is three quarters of an ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. Yeah, grab some ice and Fill up your shaker. And shake it. Shake it like a, a motor car. <laughs> Side car. Yeah. Looking good. Slide this puppy back. And uh, we want to double strain it. Oh yeah, look at how inviting does that look. We got a little orange rind here and uh, we're just gonna rim the outside a bit and drop her in her drink. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the sidecar. Oh, you can't go wrong with this. Dads, <laughs> make it, or get your son to make it, or your daughter to make it, because, oh, wow, perfect. It's sweet, it's sour. It's really well balanced, and I know you're gonna love it, so make one. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. got three this thing is huge <laughs> oh shit man it won't fit in my shitter okay <laughs> well, I don't know this is gonna be on a it's gonna all right shit. okay let's let me get it in here first 
I got my sidecar here. Yeah. Mm. That's a damn fine drink. You should make one. Make one for Dad. And hit the subscribe button and check out these other drinks that Dad might like. Oh! <laughs> See ya! Haha. <laughs>